In Hebrews chapter 12, the, the writer tells us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. And the ensemble has uncovered a song that the Kingsmen did many, many years ago um, that talks about um, reasons that people don't come to church. It's a little fun little song that um, once they heard it, they, they fell in love with it. And in practicing it, we were able to demonstrate um, some of the ranges that our young people have in their voices. So I hope that you enjoy the ensemble as they um, sing Excuses. Tim? Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil, he'll supply them if the church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. Well, in the summer, it's too hot. And in the winter, it's too cold. And when in springtime, when the weather's just right, you find someplace else to go. Well, it's up to the mountains or down to the beach or to visit some old friend or just to stay home and kind of relax and hope some of the kin folks drop in. Well, the church bench is there too hard and the choir sings way too loud. Well, you know how nervous you can get when you're sitting in a great big crowd. The doctor told you, now you better watch them crowds. They'll set you back. But you go to that old ball game because you say it helps you to relax. Well, a headache Sunday morning and a backache Sunday night. But by work time Monday morning, you're feeling quite all right. One of the children has a cold. Pneumonia, do you suppose? Why, the whole family had to stay home. Just to blow that poor kid's nose. Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil, he'll supply them if from church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. Well, the preacher, he's too young. Maybe he's too old. The sermons, they're not hard enough. Maybe they're too bold. His voice is much too quiet. Sometimes he gets too loud. He needs to have more dignity, or else he's way too the sermon's there too long, or maybe they're too short. He ought to preach the word with dignity instead of stomp and snort. Well, that preacher we've got must be the world's most stuck-up man. One of the ladies told me the other day... Why, he didn't even shake my hand! Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil, he'll supply them if the church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses.